in the lab. Just a few more edits, and this project will finally be done. Finally, after three straight days of overtime, I'm done. Luna, you've been pushing yourself hard. Are you holding up okay? I could definitely use some sleep, but I managed to wrap up the project. Sleep should be your priority now. Make sure you take care of yourself. You're right, but before I can crash, could you do me a favor? Of course, what do you need? Can you grab me a cup of coffee? I could use a little boost to get through the rest of the day. Absolutely, I'll get you that coffee. Hang in there, Luna. Yeah, thank you in advance. 15 minutes later. Here, your coffee. Thanks for the coffee, I needed that. No problem, Luna. Oh, by the way, something's happening outside. There's an old woman and a man causing a scene at the company's entrance. They're really insisting on seeing you. I have a feeling I know who that is. Thank you for the coffee. I'll come out to check it. Okay, be careful. Just let us know if you need any help. Thanks a lot. It will be okay. Maybe they are my mom and my older brother. Luna, Luna. I know you work here. Go out and see us. And grateful child. <laughs> oh no, not now. Mom, please, not here. Let's talk somewhere else. Look, everyone, this is Luna, our hardworking daughter who's too busy to care about her family. Mom, seriously, stop it. Let's go somewhere quieter and discuss this. Ouch, Mom. Don't you dare tell me what to do. Why didn't you answer my calls? You're so ungrateful. I was at work, Mom. I couldn't talk. I have been working nonstop for three days. No excuses, you ungrateful girl. Look, we can't argue here. Let's go to that cafe over there, okay? We'll talk there without causing a scene. No, I won't be silenced. I'll tell everyone how ungrateful you've become. Fine, if you won't listen, then I won't be sending you any more money. What? Luna, you wouldn't. I mean it. If you won't talk privately, then I won't be your ATM anymore. Fine, let's go to a cafe or something. But we won't let you get away with this. Whatever, let's go. In the cafe. So, this time what do you want from me? Hurry up, I don't have much time. You brat, how dare you talk to your mom like that? Mom, be calm. We also have to borrow her money. You're right. Um, well, Luna, we need your help. Can you send us more money? Mom, I just gave you money last week. Um, this time is different, so... Fine. How much do you want, and what is it for? Your brother wants to buy a new car, and it costs $20,000. Can't you lend him the money? What? $20,000? Where could I find that much to give you? And buying a car is his choice, not mine. He's old enough to earn money himself. It's just $20,000. You have worked here for many years. You must have saved more than this. Are you kidding me? All my salary has been sent to you every month. I won't give you that much money anyway. You're always so selfish. We're family, we're supposed to help each other out. Look, I've been supporting you both for years. I have my own expenses and dreams too. How can you say that, Luna? After all we've done for you. What have you done for me? Did you ever bother to support me with my tuition fees? No, I struggled and paid for my college education all by myself. While you all you ever did was demand money from me. To fund your son's pointless indulgences. Aye aye. You're so heartless, Luna. Just give us the money. I worked hard for my money. So you, work and buy it yourself. You must give us that money, Luna, or else. Let go of me, mom. You us. No more. I won't be your piggy bank. Watch out, kitty. Thank God, you are safe, kitty. The moment the truck hit me, I felt like everything stopped. Maybe this is also a relief for me. Aqua Kingdom. <coughs> huh? Where am I? Am I dead? <coughs> Ugh. What's wrong with my voice? I can't speak. Your Majesties, it is a princess. Huh? Me? Princess? A sister. That's great, father. A princess. Marvelous news. Aw, oh, she's so cute. Nah, 
so that mean I was dead in my previous world. And I was reincarnated as a princess. Ha ha ha. I'm gonna have a happy life in this world. So what is her name, father? We shall name her Luna, a name as luminous as the moon. What a beautiful name. Nah, that's my name in my previous life. Now, tell me, what color hair does our precious Luna possess? Your Majesty, there's something different about the princess. Her hair, Your Majesty, it's white. White, are you certain? Yes, Your Majesty, white hair. White hair? That's unheard of in our family. Ugh, my hair is white? Will they abandon me? I've never seen anyone with white hair before. Let me hold her. Summon the crystal ball. We must check her powers. Yes, your majesty. Watch closely. Why is the ball glowing white? White light. This can't be right. It must be a mistake. Your majesty, the crystal ball never lies. It seems that Princess Luna doesn't possess any superpowers. You liar. Everyone in our family has powers. And now you say our own princess doesn't. No, no. I didn't mean that. Um, your majesty. I have this to tell you. Keep saying. I've heard tales of cases sometimes people gain their powers later. Even if they don't have them initially, maybe Luna Princess is one of those cases. It's a rarity, your majesty. But it happens sometimes. Hum. So that means my daughter may have the power in the future. I am not sure. But... But maybe. Is there a way? Can we give her powers somehow? Your Majesties, there is a legendary magic rose that possesses the ability to grant powers to those without. However, this unique flower blooms only once every 50 years. Is there a chance to find this magic rose? Can we acquire it for Luna? I wish I knew. But the last time I encountered this magical flower was 35 years ago. No one has seen that flower since then. It's possible that another flower of its kind might bloom in about 15 years. Another magic rose will bloom in 15 years. Yes, your majesty, if you wish to give your daughter powers, you'll need to search for that flower when it blooms. Hum, okay. We can't let anyone know about this. If anyone here reveals this secret, I will kill all your whole families, got it? Understood. Your Majesty, your command will be followed. Yes, your Majesty. Now, you two, get out of here. Yes, your, your Majesty. Majesty. Maya, go and take care of our Queen. Yes, your Majesty. What do we do now? We must keep this a secret, for it would shame our family. And Luna, she is different from us. Nevertheless, she will remain our princess. What if she never develops powers? We will find a solution, for now. She is our responsibility. Your Majesty, our Queen, she, she. What's the matter with my wife? Why are you crying? She, she has passed away due to complications from Princess Luna's birth. What? This can't be true. I must see her. As everyone entered the room, the Queen had took her final breath. <coughs> Mother! Mother! No! No! Your Highnesses, I'm so sorry for this tragic loss. This is Luna's fault. She brought this misfortune upon us. Hey, hey! Let me down. Yes, Luna is unlucky. Her birth has taken our mother from us. Stop this. It's not Luna's fault. This is a tragedy. But we will not blame an innocent child. No, it's her fault. I hate her. Our mother died because of that unlucky child. I will never forgive her. Luna, my innocent Luna. I thought I'd have a great life as a princess, but things went south. Mom died giving birth to me. My siblings started hating on me. My new life is a new series of misfortunes. Fifteen years later. Wake up, wake up. Good morning, Maya. Here, wash your face. Breakfast is ready. Thank you, Maya. The water is so cold. Can you change it? You only have a princess label, not a true princess. Don't expect me to serve you. 
Hurry up and eat breakfast. This is ridiculous. I'm a princess. But even an ordinary maid can despise me. Because I don't have power like my royal siblings. Hope that my power will appear soon. Hurry up. Okay, okay. What? The bread is moldy? This isn't fit for anyone to eat. Um, Maya, excuse me. The food, it's, it's spoiled. Could I kindly ask for a fresher serving? Oh, how surprising. Princess Luna, the connoisseur of fine dining, I assume? I just thought. You thought, did you? Well, here's a thought for you eat what you're given. If you don't like it, tough luck. Eat up or starve, princess. But it's not fit for eating. It's... Enough of your complaints. You're not the only one in this palace. Eat or don't eat, I don't care. Just stop bothering me. Hurry up. I have many chores to do. I won't eat this. You won't eat it? Fine. Have it your way. Just so you know, the king's calling for you. My father? Oh. Has he returned from the Fire Kingdom? He has just arrived. Hurry up. Prince Mana and Prince Eugene have been there already. Ugh. I'm so hungry. Maybe I will find something to eat in the kitchen before facing my father. Bet it's another chat about my lack of powers. Luna rushed to the kitchen to fetch some bread and made her way to the presence of the king. We'll begin the meeting when Luna comes. Luna should be joining us soon. Father, may I ask why Luna's presence is required? She hasn't never attended our previous meetings. Yes, it's rather unusual. Why summon someone so incapable? She's still your sister. Treat her with some respect. This time it's related to Luna. Hold your judgments until she arrives. Yes, yes your, your majesty. majesty. My apologies for my tardiness, father. Late as usual, she is showing no respect for your time, father. Yeah, we should punish her. Enough. Take your seat, Luna. Yes, your majesty. Ouch. Ha ha ha, a concealed snack. Planning a feast? A princess who has to hide food. It's a shame. They have never faced ridicule from servants for lacking power. They can't grasp my struggles over the last 15 years. Why was I born without power? Stand up, Luna. Remain seated. Gather round, you three. I've got something important to discuss. What's going on, Dad? Just returned from the Fire Kingdom. Tomorrow, I'm planning to head to the Beast Kingdom. Tomorrow? And for how long? This trip might last for a few months. Hold on, your majesty. The Beast Kingdom? Isn't that place dangerous? It's crawling with monsters. And there are rumors that their king is some kind of cannibal monster. Mana's right, father. That place is practically a no-go zone. I appreciate your concern, both of you. But here's the kicker. The Beast King himself extended an invitation. Their kingdom is dealing with polluted water, so they're hoping I can help out for a while. Father, it's too dangerous there. Why didn't you refuse? I know it might sound risky, but sometimes we have to step up to help others in need. You know, from what I heard in the Fire Kingdom, the Beast King supposedly has a magic rose. Might be the one I've been searching for. The magic rose can grant Luna powers. Hold on, wait a second. You've been looking for that rose for over 15 years. Do you really think it exists? Magic rose? Are you serious? The magic rose? The one that could grant me powers? Father, seriously, it's all right. I've been thinking, and maybe I don't really need extra powers to lead a fulfilling life. It's not worth your risk. I was hoping to give you a gift. Default power you've been missing. I don't want you to face ridicule from others. Tomorrow, I will depart for Beast Kingdom. Wait up, father. You're going solo to fix their water issues. That's a whole lot of work. You might burn yourself out magically. Let me go with you. No, Eugene. This might take a few months. And while I'm gone, our kingdom needs a leader. Eugene, being the only prince. I need you to stay and hold down the fort. But... It will be all right. I've made up my mind. I believe this is the right thing to do. All right, father. I'll stay and take care of things here in your absence. Just promise me you'll be careful. I'll make sure to keep my safety a priority. 
All right, that's all I want to tell you today. Now, you three can go. Yes, yes father. father. A few days later, Aqua King's convoy arrived at Beast Kingdom in Beast Palace. Wait here, your majesty. I will inform our king of your arrival. Thank you. I'll await your signal. The rumors have painted a fearsome picture of the Beast King. Can he truly be as monstrous as they claim? Luna's well-being outweighs any fear. I must press forward, even if it means confronting the unknown. Some time later. Welcome to the Beast Kingdom. I am Julius, the ruler here. Beast King hits an honor. Prepare a meal to serve our esteemed guest. Indulge in the feast. It's our gesture of hospitality. Maybe the story's got it wrong. He's a beastman. But he doesn't seem as fierce as they say. Enjoy the food. It's our way of saying welcome. Thank you, Julius. This means a lot. You have come here to help our country. We are very grateful for that. Just relax and make yourself at home. Beast King, I didn't come here to offer help without some conditions. Well, well, nothing in life is free, is it? As mentioned in the letter, if Aqua Kingdom helps us with the water purification, we're open to proposing an alliance. The Beast Kingdom could have your back in times of need, including our troops if required. I understand, and forgive my next request. If you grant me this one thing, I may not need an alliance, or ask for anything more from the Beast Kingdom. What's this thing you're after? The Magic Rose. I've heard that you possess it, and it's said to be a treasure of yours. I don't know where you heard that. But I'm sorry, I can't give you the magic rose. Our original agreement still stands. Can you tell me why you need that flower so much? It's something personal, but I can't part with the magic rose. We'll stick to our initial deal. I understand, and I apologize for the request. We'll proceed as agreed. Don't worry about it. While you're here, let's make sure you're comfortable. Thank you. You're welcome. Just one thing it's not safe here at night. So I'd advise against going out after dark. I'll keep that in mind. Thanks. Two months later. Almost two months has passed. And I was warned about the dangers of the night. But nothing unusual has occurred. And I've never spotted Beast King Julius during the night. Where would he be? Hum, the door's open. Maybe I can take a quick look inside. This might be my chance to find that magic rose. There it is. The magic rose I've been searching for. Just a few steps away. Ho. Help. Someone. Help. Your Majesty. What's going on? I was attacked by this creature. It came out of nowhere. Attacked by this creature? Seize him? Wait. What? Let me out. Seize that panther. Not me. This is our king, Julius. What? What? The Beast King. In the form of a panther. What were you doing in the Beast King's room, your majesty? I, I saw the door open, and I thought. You were trying to steal the Beast King's magic rose, weren't you? No, I wasn't stealing it. I was just looking. Your majesty, we will take him into custody. Please, listen to me. I had no ill intentions. No excuses. Tomorrow, when our king turns back, he will judge you. No, no. I didn't mean any harm. The next day in the dungeon. Let me out of here. Is this how the Beast Kingdom treats someone who aided them? You're lucky, Aqua King. Had you not helped my kingdom, I would have killed you yesterday. I've already sent a letter back to Aqua Kingdom. They know I'm supposed to be back today. If you don't release me, my son will waste no time mobilizing our army here. Don't think you can intimidate me. Intimidate you? That's not my intention. Then what is your intention? Release me now. You see, you'll remain right here, aiding us in purifying the water forever. You can't do that. Such an act would spark a war between our kingdoms. Oh, I'm well aware. Which is why I've taken measures to prevent that. Your kingdom thinks you're dead. And it will remain that way as long as you cooperate. My people won't stand for this. They will retaliate if they believe I'm in danger. Ha ha ha. Let's wait until then. In Aqua Palace. In Luna's room. Moldy bread again? Seriously, Maya? I can't eat this. 
God, ever since my father isn't here, Maya has grown bolder with me. Now she dares to ignore me. I can't keep eating like this. Maybe I can find something in the kitchen. Huh? Why is she here again? Princess Luna, Prince Eugene is looking for you. He said there was an important letter from our king. I got it. I'll go see him right away. I think that our father has found the magic rose. Aqua Palace. Mana, Luna, gather around. We've just received a letter from the Beast King. Quit stalling, Eugene. What does the letter say? It brings sad news. Our father, Aqua King, has passed away. Because of being exhausted his magical prowess. No, father. I begged him not to go. But he was determined to find that magic rose for you, Luna. It's your fault. Yeah, our mother perished giving birth to you. And now father is gone coos, you are a powerless princess. No, this can't be true. Something doesn't add up. I believe that the Beast Kingdom is withholding the truth. We must retrieve father's remains and give him the farewell he deserves. Venture into that treacherous realm? Are you out of your mind? It teems with monstrous dangers, where few return alive. Such a journey is a meant for someone like us. But, he's our father. Then go right ahead, if you're so determined. Embark on your foolish quest and face the peril that awaits. We will not go with you. By the way, the throne remains vacant. I must step up. What? No, why not me? We're both princess and prince. I'm a man. Have you seen a woman lead the kingdom? We still don't know if our father is alive or dead. But you're already clawing for power like vultures? This is how the world works. The throne waits for no one. If you're so eager to prove yourself, then go to the Beast Kingdom and never return. Fine, I will go to the Beast Kingdom. I will find out the truth and bring our father back, no matter the cost. And when I return, I will expose your greed and heartlessness to the entire kingdom. Whatever, bet that you will never back. The next morning, Luna and her entourage set out to rescue Aqua King from the Beast Kingdom. In Beast Palace. I am Luna, the youngest princess of Aqua. I have received news of my father's passing, and I have come to take him home. My condolences for your loss, Princess Luna. However, I regret to inform you that your father has been laid to rest, and his body cannot be disturbed. I can't accept that without proof. I need to see where my father was buried. Very well, Princess Luna. I shall guide you to his resting place. But I implore you to understand the sanctity of our customs and the respect we hold for the deceased. I cannot accept that without seeing it for myself. I must know where my father lies in eternal rest. All right, Princess Luna. I shall guide you to the place where your father rests. Please understand the deep reverence we hold for our customs. Thank you, Beast King, for your understanding. I only seek closure and to bid my father a proper farewell. But Princess, only you may accompany me on this journey. Why is that, Beast King? There are reasons, Princess. Please trust me. All right. Something doesn't feel right about this. In the dungeon. Hey, is something wrong here? This is a dungeon, isn't this? Trust me, Princess Luna. Your father rests below. Luna. Father. This was a deception. My father is not dead. He's been imprisoned. You have finally seen the truth, Princess Luna. Your father will remain in our custody. Luna, my dear, you must escape. Save yourself. Guards, seize her. You won't get away with this. Aqua will come for me. Ha ha ha, poor you. Your beloved prince and princess are fighting for the throne. After being informed that you was dead, no one wants to claim your body except for this foolish princess. No way. Ha ha ha. Believe or not depends on you. But now you will stay here forever. Luna, is what he said true? Well, yes father. It is. I'm so sorry father. I never should have let you come on this quest for the magic rose. Now, we're both imprisoned. It's not your fault, Luna. We'll find a way out of here, together. I promise, father. I'll do whatever it takes to get us out of here and back to our kingdom. To be continued. In a certain world where there are many diverse tribes living together and most are still humans, they share cultures, educate each other, 
live together in peace. But there is a tribe that lives hidden away, far from humans. Fairies live far away from humans and only really appear when they need help. That's all my mom said. But I'm really curious about the human world. Lily. Mom? It's okay, just sit. Yes. What are you thinking? I'm thinking about the human world. Who are they and what are they look like? Why do we have to live away from them when other races don't have to? Humans are complicated, Lily. Do you know what we are different from them? No, nope, Mom. We have white hair, a unique color that no human has. So does that mean we will be easily recognized even when standing with many people? Exactly. And humans are also somewhat afraid of us. Human time is very sure, so they always see our age as a miracle. Instead of a miracle. How short can their lives be? I don't know, but after all I just give you one piece of advice. Yes? Never fall in love with a human. Why what? Don't ask why. You just need to know it's enough. I don't get it. The scariest thing is seeing the person you love grow old, right in front of your eyes, and you can't do nothing. Remember before dawn, tomorrow we have an important ceremony to do. Yes, Mom. After my 100th birthday, I will go to the human world. Yes, I will. I will be an adult then, maybe my mother won't be able to stop me anymore. But when her 82nd birthday hadn't come yet, Lily had the biggest event of her life. A swarm of unidentified monsters attacked her village, forcing everyone to evacuate immediately. Mom, sister, is anybody here? It's me, Lily. Oh no, I'm lost. Where am I? Ugh. But I have to run, or not. No way. A long time after that. Great, people live here. But they are definitely not fairies. I need to hide and... Ugh. My legs hurt so bad, it must have been from running barefoot for a long time. Tomorrow I will try to ask if they can give me something to eat. I'm so worried about my family, I don't know what they are doing and where are they. Ah. W who is that? Can you help me? Why what? Me? Yes, it's you. My mother said humans need our help. Although I have never helped anyone, but... Yes. What can I help with? This kid. I'm his grandpa. Monsters attacked my village. It turns out that monsters also attack humans. His parents are gone. Oh my, I'm so sorry. Oh no, what do I do now? Hold him. He stopped crying, so wonderful. Have you never raised a child? No, we were born from flowers, so. We don't have babies, I've seen human babies before, but never held anyone. Your hair, oh, I know it. This kid is so lucky. If he was raised by a fairy, he would probably become extremely healthy. What do you mean? You want me to raise this child? That's right. Can you help me? This old man's time is running out. <coughs> Are you okay? Hey, hey. It's okay now. Don't cry, baby. Can you help me? I can. I will raise and take care of this child. Haha. <laughs> Thank you so much. Can I know your name? I'm, my name is Lily. Lily, right? From now on, please help me raise this child. The boy's name is your choice. And finally, thank you so much, Lily. Sir? So this is the departure of people? Can I do this? I have never raised a baby. Don't worry. 
I promise to him. I will take care of you for the rest of my life, so don't cry anymore. Okay. Ha ha ha. Thank you. Lately monsters have been attacking the town continuously. We are lucky that our home is far away. Mom! Mom! What? I told you many times not to speak so loudly. But this is very important. Something new has broken into our cow shed. What? Are you sure? I'm not kidding. This morning when I was hanging out nearby, I heard a very loud noise. It's like someone is messing around in there. Oh no, no, no. You stay here. You must not leave the house until you have my permission. But... Listen now. Yes, Mom? Don't tell me the monsters are here. Please, please. Especially when my husband is not at home. Shit, not good. It's okay. If I attack suddenly, it will definitely let it guard down. Phew. Ah. Uh, I'm sorry. But how can the milk flow? What? I, I can't do it. The baby is hungry, but I can't feed him. I don't know how. She is that hair color. Wait, wait. Okay, okay. I'm fine now. At least she's not a monster. Ah. Uh, don't cry, please. Just stand up, lady. Let me help you. Yes, thank you so much. I'm sorry for barging into your cowshed without your permission. It's okay, I can understand why. Can I hold him? Um, okay, if you don't mind it. Hush, don't cry, little boy. Everything will be fine. I'll give you milk right away, so please wait a bit. Oh my, thank you so much. He cried because he was hungry. This is how babies communicate with their parents. It took a while for him to speak. This is like a miracle. Let's go into my house first, okay? Your clothes are all dirty. And I'm pretty sure you're hungry too. Actually, I'm not very hungry. I hope the baby will eat first. Your stomach is more honest than you. I'm sorry. Don't apologize. You didn't do anything wrong. Come on. Okay. Sometime later. Lily, your hair color is so beautiful. Ah, thank you so much, Finn. Your hair is cute, too. Hee <laughs> hee, thank you. So, you're Lily, right? Yes, and I heard Jane say you're Daniel. Ah, uh, yes. Nice to meet you, Lily. Nice to meet you, too, Daniel. Your wife has helped me a lot. It's not a big deal. I am also a mother, so I am ready to help you. Mom, all right. I'm a mom now. Oh, he needs to poop. Do you need my help? Uh, no. Thanks. I know how to change his diaper. Oh, okay. Enjoy your lunch. I'll be back later. I'll go with her, Mom. Okay. Thank you, Finn. So you mean you met her in our coast? Yeah. This is so sudden. I've heard of the fairies, but I've never seen them with my own eyes. Me too but it seems like they're just like us. It's just that the age is a little different. Todd, how old is she? She said she is already 81 years old. Next year will be 82. <coughs> hey, are you okay? No, no. I'm fine. Just a little surprise. She looks younger than my dad. Of course she is. But she said that her age is still not an adult. What? It takes her 100 years to be considered an adult. Wait, does that mean she's 16 or 17 as human age? Kinda like that. Wow, so she's really young. I have no idea. But maybe she will live with us for a while. Because monsters have attacked her village and she has nowhere to go. 
Furthermore, she is now adopting a human child. What do you think? Well, I'm fine with that. But you know, we can't raise someone who can't do anything. She knows how to weave. The fairies are very skillful. She will weave fabric and sell it for money. Oh, cool. Then I agree. Here she is. Mom, she decided to call the baby boy Ethan. Wow, is that true, Lily? Yes, so you like it? Oh my, he's your son. You can call him by any name you want. Then Ethan is the best for him, I guess. That name is really beautiful. Thank you. Then after lunch, I'll dye your hair, Lily. What? I don't want that, Mom. Her hair is so pretty. Why do you have to dye her hair? Because I don't want her to get in trouble, you know? Her hair color is so pretty. But what if someone wants to kidnap her just because of her hair color? No, I don't want that. Lily is a good person. She can't be kidnapped. Ha <laughs> ha. Then you trust your parents, okay? I'll be fine. Yes. Good boy. Then Jane helped Lily dye her hair brown, like Ethan's. This will make it easier for Lily to live comfortably and integrate into the human world. Lily also started weaving to earn extra income. Time soon passed, Ethan grew up. I don't know where my family is and what are they doing. Mom, can I help you? Ethan, I thought you were hanging out with Finn. Finn keeps forcing me to wear a dress. I don't like it. And he kept mentioning how he wished I had beautiful hair like yours. But I'm a boy. Ha <laughs> ha. Maybe he wants a little sister. Don't mad at him, okay? Okay, Mom. I'm done weaving. Do you want to go to the market with me? Really? Shall we go now? Of course. Let's go. Yay! The market is quite crowded today, but you can still buy fruit. You're so amazing, Mom. Ah, uh, maybe it's because I'm with you that I'm more confident? Yeah, of course. Ah, Ethan, long time no see. Are you already this grown up? How quickly time passes. Good afternoon, ma'am. Ah, oh, look at him. This proves you are a very good mother, Lily. Although being a single mother is not easy. Really? T, thank you so much. I always try to be better. You are already. You're right. She's my mom and she's the best. Hi, ha ha. Glad you think that, little boy. So bye. I have to go now. Bye bye. See you again. Even though I've never been a mother, but they're probably right. I am a mother, and a good mother. What are you thinking, Mom? Ah, nothing. I'm just feeling happy about being your mom. I love you so much, Ethan. I love you too, Mom. Their lives are still peaceful, until another problem appears. The kids around the village started bullying Ethan just because his mother looked too young. Today mom has to go to town to sell cloth. Finn and his mother are also with her. I couldn't go with them just because I overslept. But it's okay. My mom said she would buy me candy. Ouch. What's that? He is the son of a witch. What? Yeah, I can see that. His mother and him are not alike at all. What? Well, what do you mean? You don't know anything about us or about my mom. You're the one who doesn't know anything about your mother. Our parents, everyone says your mom looks weird. She hasn't aged a bit. I'm sure they say that because they're old people. What? Don't say any more, you mother boy. If we weren't living peacefully among the tribes, your mother would have been arrested. What? Why? Ha, huh, look at him. He doesn't know anything about his mother. That's because she's cheating. In this world, only the fairies can stay young and beautiful for so long. But your mom is not a fairy, so maybe you're not her son. Enough. I don't want to hear it anymore. 
Ha ha ha, he's running away from you. I know, right. Because I really hate boys who are grown up, but still cling to their mothers. Egg to leak. Same thought. <laughs> In the town. It sounds like you're starting to get used to buying and selling yourself, right? That's right. It's all thanks to your help. Come on, don't mention it. We are family now. That's right, a big family. Mom, Lily, look at this. I found a cloth exactly like the one Lily made. What? Wait. We usually communicate this way. You mean it's like a letter? Yes. Wait for me. Impossible. What's wrong? It says that my tribe is still alive. Oh my god, that's a good new. Exactly. I have to find them. Hey, wait for us, Lily. Thank you. <laughs> what happened? Ethan? What's wrong? My baby, what's wrong? Can you tell me? Mom? Yes, it's me. Why are you crying? Are you injured? No. Then can I see your face? I miss you so much. Yes. Are you calm now? What happened? What happened to him, Lily? I, I don't know either. Some kids said you're not my mom because you look so young. Oh my. What? Who are those brats? I'll beat them all. Calm down, Finn. I can handle this. Ugh, fine. I know this will happen anyway. Look at me, Ethan. What do you think about me? You're my mom, and that's all. I don't want to hear people say that you're not my mother. And I'm your mother, that's all. You don't have to care what other people say. Really, mom? Really? Then I will not cry anymore. That's my boy. Sometime later. Is Ethan asleep? After crying, he looked like he was tired so he went to sleep. So you decided to leave? Yes. Firstly, I want to find my family. And second, the people around here are already starting to doubt me. I'm afraid that if I stay here, I'll get your family in trouble. You don't have to be afraid. I'm grown up now. I can beat anyone who dares to doubt you. Violence is not good, Finn. But... She is right, Finn. Don't do that. But I don't want you and him to leave. You are my family. I don't want to. Don't force her, Finn. You know she has work to do and her real family is out there. Don't worry. I'll be back someday. You promise? I promise. Then I'll help you prepare some important stuff. Going to a whole new place is not easy. Thank you, Jane. You guys helped me a lot while I'm here. We are family, don't mention it. Live well and don't forget to send us a letter. Okay. So, after two days of packing, Lily decided to take Ethan out of this place and move closer to the intended location. But because she only knows how to weave and isn't good at anything else, Lily couldn't find a job smoothly. She decided to find a place to rest first because she was completely exhausted today. <laughs> no job, no more news about my family. What do I do now? I can go without food for a few days, but Ethan can't. And if I don't have money, I might get kicked out of here immediately. What's wrong, Mom? What are you thinking, Mom? Can you tell me? Nothing. I'm just tired. If you feel tired, I can help you. Look at this, Mom. I hand-woven it for you, although it's not pretty. I'll see it later. Maybe Mom really tired. I'll find another way. Let's spar together. You will feel better. No, Ethan, I just need some time to. Come on, Ma. Don't be like that. Come and play with me. 
I swear it will feel very fun. But... Look at me, Mom. Ouch. Oh, no. Mom, Mom, are you okay? I'm so sorry. I... I told you I'm tired. Why don't you stop babbling and sit still? Mom. I'm exhausted with you. Stop bothering me. Ugh. What do I do now? Maybe I'm not a good mother. I'm just trying to be it. Maybe mom was right. We were born with a lonely fate. I don't know what to do now. Don't worry. I promise to him. I will take care of you for the rest of my life, so don't cry anymore. Okay. Ha ha ha. Thank you. No, I can't. Ethan is my son. Ethan, where are you? Ethan? Boom. Ah, Ethan, where was you? Are you less tired, Mom? In the past, Jane always told me that the rain would wash away our sorrows. That's why I ran out here on purpose. And I make you do that too. Oh, my boy. Yes, I don't feel tired anymore. Thank you for thinking about me and sorry for making you worry. Don't mad at me, okay? Haha, <laughs> what are you saying? Mom, I'm not angry and will never be mad at you. I know you're tired because you haven't found a job yet. But don't worry, I promise you that after I grow up, I'll help you. Ah, thank you so much. And I swear I'll never cry again, being a mother must be strong. Hee <laughs> hee, I love you, Mom. I love you too, Ethan. Since then Lily never doubted whether she was a mother or not. She realized how important Ethan is to her, and he's not her toy, he's her son. Eight years later. Where is he? Huh? You mean Ethan? Yeah, who else? I haven't seen him for a long time. I thought you don't like him. Nonsense. That was when I was young. Now that I'm older, I realize he's a good teacher of fencing. He- I can see that. Is that why you moved here to near him? It was just a coincidence. Ah, Ethan, over here. Oh, hey, guys. How long have you been here? It's been a while. We're waiting for you. Thanks, but I think you should eat first next time. I'm a regular customer here, so I always have my food first. Cool. You often come here. Actually? Welcome to our eatery. Sorry to keep you waiting for a long time. The chef was sick today, so he cooks slower than usual. Hey, it's okay. We can wait. Ah, thank you. You're so kind. How can I blame a cute girl like you? Just chill and relax. Haha, -ha. thank you. And Ethan, I might be home late today, so you better go home first. What? Hold on, I. Lily, come here, the food is done. Coming. We can talk later, okay? Wait, what was that, Captain? So she's your girlfriend? Shut up, she's not. Are you stupid, bro? She has the same hair color as Ethan. She's definitely his relative. Ah, luckily. Luckily? If you don't mind, can I ask? Does your sister have a boyfriend? Adon. What? Stupid. Wait, what happened? I don't get it. Why is he mad at me? Maybe she's his mother. The frack. Do you remember when he was young he was bullied by us? Just because his mother was too young. Wait, hold on. That's mean. Huh? Where is Ethan, boys? Oh, um, he. Are you Ethan's mother? What? Hey, Don. Watch your tongue. I am sorry. I'm just curious. Do they still recognize me? What do I do now? Hey, that's not how to talk to women. Finn? She still has work to do, right? Oh, right. Thank you. I'll see you later. Okay. Wait, I just want to ask. You can ask me. I know her. But first, I can't talk to someone I don't know. Shall we drink together? Yeah, cool. 
Let's do that. Oh no. This idiot will get drunk. That night. Thank you so much, Finn. I was really confused when they asked that question. I knew this wouldn't last long. I was about to admit to them that I was his mother. You don't have to if you don't feel comfortable. I'm just worried Ethan will get in trouble for that. I think he'll fine. You know, he has grown up. Oh, that's right. Haha. <laughs> It's probably because to me Ethan is still just a kid. What about your parents, Finn? Oh, they still fine. My mom misses you so much, you seem to be very busy lately. Yes, I haven't heard anything from my family yet. I'm sorry. It's okay, at least me and Ethan are doing well now. I can see that. So, can I ask? Of course, go ahead. What do you think about going with me to a new place? And starting a new life. What? Actually I loved you a long time ago, and I want to protect you. I know that our ages are different. But that's not enough to stop me from expressing this feeling. Finn, thank you. But for me now, Ethan is the most important person. And I think I can't worry about anyone but him. I get it. I know you're having a hard time, so? I'm home. Ah, uh, Ethan, welcome back. Wait, Finn, what are you doing in here? What? Can't I visit you and your mother? Not like this, and you're not welcome in here. Get out. What? You can't say that to him, Ethan. Hold on, Ethan. Did you drink alcohol? So what? Not your business. Ethan, don't raise your voice at him like that. Please go back to your room, Lily. He's drunk. But... Don't act like you're interested in her. Stay away from her. Ethan, stop. What's wrong with you, brother? Are you trying to flirt with her? What? No, I'm not. Then why are you coming back? She's not yours. Calm down, Ethan. He's your brother. He's just worried about you. I don't need that. Just get out of here. She's mine. What? The heck? What the hell are you saying about your mother? Stop saying like that. I'm old enough to know that she's not my mother and I never considered her my mother. What? Silent. Don't you dare to say that to her. No, don't argue. I don't need your help. Hey, what's wrong with you, bro? Hey, it's okay, don't cry. I'll talk to him. He said he never considered me his mother. That idiot. Did I do something wrong? I thought he was drunk, so I was talking nonsense. Let me talk to him first, okay? T, thank you. I'll be back soon. Ethan. Don't say anything else. What is wrong with you? Why did you say that to her? Damn it. I heard you're in the army, right? Uh, yes. But you? Let me join the army with you. Monsters are appearing more, aren't they? I don't want to see Lily again. What the? Have you lost your mind? He doesn't even call Lily mom anymore. Yes, I lost my mind. I don't know what to do and what is wrong with my feeling. What do you mean? Damn it, I... I don't know since when, but I know that my other feelings are growing. Then one day I found out she's not my mother. Those feelings seem to almost defeat me. I have to stay in the house with a woman who's not my mother and she's as young as 15 years old. You know she's not my mother, right? I understand why people didn't tell me this, but I was really shocked. Ethan, it's because we want the best for you. And as you can see, even though she's not your mother, she takes good care of you. That's why I was scared. If she's not my mother, why does she treat me so well? That's why I'm afraid. I try to hide from this feeling. No son would ever have the thought of falling in love with his mother. Fine, I get it. Talk to her one last time before you leave, okay? Yes, thank you. But you really hurt her, you know. I don't care. Yes, I must do that. The next day. I heard Finn say you're going to join the army. Why didn't you say anything to me? Because there are too many monsters? This is my business. You don't have to worry.
But, he doesn't consider me his mother, what should I say? When can we meet again? You know, I'll miss you. Never. Why what? I know you still have your family, go find them. Just forget everything about me, that's all. If you say so then, please take care of yourself, okay? I always support you, you know. You said you would help me after you grow up, but why? You lied to me. My only family right now is you. A few years later, the war between humans and monsters gradually came to an end. Ethan didn't send a single letter home but Lily knew that he had a new family and was about to become a father. Finn gives her daily updates on the situation, but Lily still can't be happy like before. Her hair gradually returns to its original color. I wonder what he is doing and my grandchild is a boy or a girl, who is his wife? What was that? Lily, is that you? Em, Mom? Oh my god. Finally, I found you. Thought we lost you. Mom, I, I miss you too. Where have you been all this time? Our tribe lost a lot of people during the monster attack. But now with the help of humans and the other races, we are safe. Oh my. I want to see Ethan one last time before returning to the clan. Now let's go home, honey. Maybe you've been suffering all this time. Nope, mom. I'm still fine. People help me a lot and... And? And I became a mother. Mother? Oh my. I didn't know that. Was that hard for you? It's always hard, but it's worth. I want to see my son one last time before we leave, okay? Do you remember what I told you? I remember, Mom. As long as you don't cry, I'll let you go see him. I will not cry, I promise. Then fine, let's go. Is it over yet? At least I can help her this way. Ethan? Was it because I was seriously injured, or were you really present? You can think it in both way. Why are you here? I came to say goodbye, Ethan. What? I don't know what you think of me, but after all, you will always be my son who I love the most. When I'm with you, all the pain seems to disappear. Wait. Welcome back, Ethan, and goodbye. Mom, I'm sorry about everything, and... And I love you so much, Mom. I love you too, Ethan. At the end of the war, the tribes returned to rebuild their lives. Don't know how much time has passed, but Lily decided to come back to visit her son one more time. Hey, little girl, can I ask? Ah, fairy. Yes, how can I help you? Where is your parents? My parents are on their way to buy medicine for my grandpa. You want to meet them? Yes, I want to meet your grandpa. Okay, follow me. Here he is, but if he's sleepy, let him sleep, okay? Okay, I get it. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Ethan? It's me. Mom? Yes. Long time no see. Welcome back, Mom. Yes. I'm home. To see you for the last time like this, it's great. Your hair color is really pretty. I wish I could have said this sooner. You already did. Yes, I did it. Ethan? Ethan? Good night, my son. Mom! Ethan, where did you go?
I thought you were at home. I went flower picking with Finn. Look. I made it for you, Mom. And thank you for working so hard to take care of me, so I can become better. Oh my. Thank you so much, my baby. I love it. Hee <laughs> hee, and I love you, Mom. I'm so happy to meet you, you know? Me too. For Lily, seeing the person she loves the most grow old and die right in front of her eyes, especially her son. Recalling the old memories, everything seems to be rushing back, hearing Ethan call her mom, mom, I'm back. At that moment, she broke her promise not to cry with Ethan. She burst into tears for a long time. The end.